Hi, in this tutorial we are going to classify landmarks, a word uh, landmarks, but we are going to use a TensorFlow Hub. And TensorFlow Hub basically is a pre-trained model online, so we can download the, each model and you, we, we can twist it and use it to our, to our own uh, purposes. So uh, first of all, we are going uh, as always to build our uh, own uh, Conda environment. We are going uh, to call it a uh, Tensor Hub Landmarks and it will be based on uh, 3.7. Uh, and we are going to install uh, TensorFlow. We don't need to use a uh, TensorFlow GPU, just a TensorFlow uh, library. And uh, some uh, more Python uh, libraries as well. So uh, please follow the, the first uh, phase of this tutorial, which is the, the Python uh, installation. Okay, now we are going to install the Tensor Hub. Please uh, look, this is the, the command, this uh, pip install command. Now we are going to install uh, NumPy and Pandas for, for data manipulation. and the uh, pillow the pill uh, library for for images okay the next phase is uh, googling the the tensor hub and you can see that there are several uh, models and we are going to to search for a specific uh, classification image uh, model we're going to look for the landmarks mode model and this is the web page you can see that there are several models for, for Europe, for Asia, for Africa, each, each model has its own landmarks. Uh, and we are going to use the Europe, uh, the Europe model. So first uh, you, can, uh, you can watch this uh, page, there is a, a sample code, um, very straightforward uh, process. So now we are going to, to create our, our uh, Python program. Uh, I will call it uh, run uh, Google uh, Tensor Hub. Uh, we are going to change our um, Conda environment to, to our new Conda environment, the one that we uh, created before in the first phase. And the first uh, process is uh, importing the, the relevant uh, libraries. Please notice there is TensorFlow and TensorFlow Hub. The next phase is uh, um, copying the URL address of our uh, model. This is the URL for the Europe model, as I uh, mentioned before. Now we need a, an Excel file that has all the labels. So we, we look for this, uh, for the link for the download in this page. Okay, here is the, the label map. It's a CSV file. So let's uh, open it. I will copy it to our uh, working directory and now let's uh, open the file you can see there is an ID number and there is a text the text of the landmarks let's, let's uh, look for the, uh, the, the gate in, in Berlin the Brandenburg gate we will try to detect or to classify this image 
this is an image that I download from Google and let's try to to classify to see if uh, our model will uh, say will will detect or maybe predict that uh, this is uh, the relevant uh, the correct gate so we are going to upload of course the, the load of course the, the our CSV files which has all the labels okay now let's build a, um, our model maybe we will call it a reference to our model the image shape will be converted to 321 on 321 and three channels the, the RGB channels we're going to create a classifier which is like a pointer to our uh, sequen sequential uh, model and we are going to pass several arguments the first argument is the model URL our Europe model then our shape and the last uh, parameter is, is like a string which is the output key just copy and paste uh, this, uh, this argument let's run the, this python code just to see our syntax to check our syntax oh, we have some uh, syntax error let's fix it and run again okay let's next let's uh, continue now we are going to load our uh, labels files and let's print it just to see that it was loaded correctly okay you can see that our data frame is okay now let's say uh, combine it uh, uh, together as a as a dictionary the the id and the name this will help us in the next phase to to look for a specific id and to extract the the name Okay, so now we have a dictionary. Once again, let's uh, run it just to, to check the syntax. Okay, so I think we are ready to try uh, and predict uh, an image with our model. So uh, first let's uh, load an image. We're going to check this uh, Berlin gate. We'll put uh, the full path. Now let's say uh, resize the image to our uh, to our uh, image uh, shape. Let's print uh, the, the size or, or print the shape to see that it was converted uh, correctly. Okay, now we will convert it to number array since our model uh, uh, needs as an input our number array uh, image. We will normalize the, the data between 0 and 1. Once again, let's print the shape to see that uh, it's still uh, correct. Okay, let's fix this error. Okay, that's good. Now let's run our model. We're going to use the argmax to get the highest value and this highest, va highest value will be our prediction ID. And then we are going to look for it in the uh, dictionary, in our lab label dictionary and find the relevant text.
but we have an error since our model needs a batch of images so we are going to add uh, another dimension to our image and then we can uh, send this argument, this number array to our model so we are going to use uh, this uh, uh, function and now our uh, image variable will be a batch of images that has one image and now let's see the result of their model and you can see that it is this gate, this Brandenburg gate in Berlin okay that's work fine so let's try another image this tower is from London it's another uh, Europe landmark so I'm changing the, the name of the image run the same code and you can see the tower bridge in, of London that works fine so now let's try uh, using the OpenCV library uh, in order to display the image with the prediction text however I didn't install this uh, library so we will do a pip install of OpenCV Python of course I will leave a text file with the, all the required libraries uh, all, all these uh, files will be in my uh, github so uh, now I'm going to load uh, the same tower bridge um, the same process I'm going to, to load uh, the image show it using uh, OpenCV and we are going to use the, the put text uh, function in, in OpenCV in order to, to put the, our final prediction result as part of the image show everything together the, the image and the prediction as a, as a one image the put text have several arguments the image, the, the relevant text, the position of the text the, the font, the color and how thick would be the, the text and the IM show uh, displaying the, the image using the wait key that wait for, for the keyboard so let's uh, run it have a, an error let's fix it okay missing comma okay you can see the image and the text maybe I should uh, change the, the color okay so thank you very much hope you enjoyed this tutorial so have the, we have the prediction text in a green color. Thank you and bye bye.